वेलकम टू डी क्लासेस दिस इज अवर लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वील स्टडी अबाउट एम सर्कल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट एम सर्कल दैट इज द कॉन्स्टेंट मैग्नीट्यूड सर्कल हियर वील स्टडी अबाउट एन सर्कल व्हिच इज कॉन्स्टेंट फेज एंगल सर्कल दैट स्टार्ट अवर क्लास इन कॉन्स्टेंट फेज एंगल सर्कल फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कंसीडर द ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन दैट इज g ऑफ g ओमेगा in the previous class what we have taken the same thing we have to take in here that is z of g omega is equal to x plus i y i have to take so g is equal to x plus i y i have to take it it is the open loop control transfer function open loop transfer function and i have to find the closed loop transfer function Before you finding this closed loop transfer function, I have to take some things in our mind. That is the equation of circle. We know the equation of circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. If this is the equation of circle, and here the center will be a, b, and the radius will be r. radius will be r and another thing we have to take in our mind that tan theta formula so we know that tan inverse of tan theta is equal to theta we know this formula and another formula is tan of a minus b and which is equal to tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a into tan b so when you simplify this equation i have to take in these three important point in our mind open loop transfer function is g is equal to x plus i y i have to find the closed loop transfer function using open loop transfer function so the formula for the closed loop transfer function is g divided by 1 plus g h Here g is given x plus i y and s is equal to one because it is unit with vector system. So here the transfer function will be x plus i y divided by one plus x plus i y. In n circle, which is our phase angle circle, here I have to find the angle. If the angle is equal to phi, then the value of phi from this one. i can get which is equal to tan inverse y by x from the upper part from the lower part i can get tan inverse y divided by 1 plus x here i got the angle is equal to tan inverse y by x plus tan inverse y by 1 plus x if i take tan in both the sides i can get tan phi is equal tan of tan inverse y by x minus tan inverse of y by 1 plus x here i will put the formula tan of a minus b if a is equal to tan inverse 1 by x y by x and b is equal to tan inverse y by 1 plus x i can get this is tan of a minus b formula and this formula can be equal to tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan into tan b so by simplifying this one i can get tan of tan inverse y by x minus tan of tan inverse y by 1 plus x divided by 1 plus tan of tan inverse y by x into tan of tan inverse y by 1 plus x now i will put this formula tan inverse of tan theta is equal to theta so tan of tan inverse y by x will be y by x so this one is equal to y by x minus this one is equal to y divided by 1 plus x divided by 1 plus this one is y by x y by x into y divided by 1 plus x now i will simplify this one by simplifying both of this term if the numerator is simplified i can get this one is equal to x whole into 1 plus x in the upper side 
y equal into 1 plus x minus xy whole divided by here I can get x whole into 1 plus x and upper side x whole into 1 plus x plus y square. So here here I can cut it x plus 1 by x in both of the terms. Now the value we got which is equal to y plus xy minus xy divided by x plus x square plus y square and here plus xy and minus xy is also cancelled out. Now the final value is equal to y divided by x square plus x plus y square. If I take the tan phi as capital N, then the value of N is equal to y divided by x square plus x plus y square. That implies x square plus x plus y square minus y by N is equal to 0. This equation I have to convert into the circuit equation. I have to add 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 in square to both LHS and RHS side. So here x square plus x plus 1 by 4 plus y square minus y by n plus 1 by 4 n square. In the LHS side I have added 1 by 4 here 1 by 4 in square. Similarly, the RHS side I have to add 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 n square. x square plus 2 into x into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square. By taking these three into consideration, I can take y square minus 2 into y into 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 n whole square. This is I have got. In the RHS side, it is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 n square. Now, from the, by taking this three into consideration, I can get this one is the formula for x plus 1 by 2 whole square. And the next three are the formula for the y minus 1 by 2 n whole square. And the RHS side, it is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 n square. If I write it, its root over square, then I can get this one is a similar equation of the equation of the circle. Having the center is at center at minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 n and the radius is radius is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 n square root over. By taking the center and radius and by varying the value of n, we can get different circles which is known as the n circle. And here the value of n changes as the phase angle also changes. So the phase angle circle we can get for different values. In this class, we have studied about n circle which is the constant phase angle circle. In the previous class, we have studied the m circle. Now the n circle is over. So to in total, the frequency response analysis for the stability criteria is over. Thank you.